Hello, a couple of days ago, I posted a video on PowerPack and what was due to come out in their version 1.3, which then was in alpha and has now gone to beta or beta. Well, it turns out that I'm a bit of a plonker because I completely overlooked that there was two extra modules that are due to go out in this release. So thank you to the people who pointed this out. And this video is really just to feature those two modules that I left. And I'm going to do that by using my own unofficial live demo site for PowerPack, which is over here at power.beaverjunction.com and the link will be below. This is an install where you can log in and it creates a version of this install so you can mess around with PowerPack until your heart's content. And I've set up some demo pages over here for these two new modules which are now in beta. And the first one here is custom grid and I'm gonna leave this one to last because this one only works if you're a Beaver Thema user, but if you are, I think you're gonna like it. And we'll first start off with this table module. So I'm gonna click into that and I've set up some tables over here that is a demo also on the power pack site for this. And well, it's pretty easy to understand here. It allows you to create tables like this, proper HTML tables and do some basic styling, but it adds this little scroller over here. Let me just go over to this one that's got many cells on it and you can see it in effect. And of course, this overcomes the major problem with HTML tables that they don't work very well responsively. So if we take a look at this, we'll see that it works beautifully there. Now I've also set one up where it doesn't have the scroller on and it's this one here and that's how it shows. It still works responsively. So the content sort of falls under each other, which you wouldn't do under normal HTML tables, but it doesn't display quite as nice as this, but it still could be used and it would still work responsively. So that is pretty much it. I'm gonna have a look on the inside of this, so I'm going to just open up Page Builder now, but just while that's loading, I'll just mention that some time back I did a video on tables over on my only.beaverjunction.com site, which is just for the Beaver Builder plugin and theme. And under modules and missing modules, I put tables. Well, some time back, the Beaver Builder team were going to actually add their own table module. It was a really popular request, but they decided in the end that they couldn't really do something that had the kind of functionality that TablePress, which is a free plugin from the WordPress repository could do. So they decided they weren't going to bother with that. And that is still true when it comes to the PowerPack one. With something like TablePress, you can import and export your complex data into tables. And that's not something that you could do with this PowerPack one. But we really needed something like this, I believe, because most of the time I would need a fairly simple table like this. And it would be much nicer to be able to hand this kind of thing over to a client and say, you just need to put your data in here rather than having to understand the interface of another plugin. So I'm really pleased to see this and this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple to set up. You can just come into the table header section here and you keep adding the headers you need, which will show across here. And then you'll go into the table rows and you'll create a new table row. And then once you're in that table row, you just keep adding the cells, which will go across here, just under the headers you set up. And that's pretty much it. And if you leave gaps, it's going to leave gaps as well. So that is all there is to it. I'll just quickly show you the styling options. Most of them you can see here, you can, you can decide to have a different background color for the odds and even rows, and you can style the whole background. If you like, you can color your borders. You can add whatever space you like, and you can choose the typography and the color of the typography for each of these. As you can see here, I've got white text against a darker gray and dark text against a lighter gray over here. And that's pretty much all you need to know. On the first tab, you'll see here where you can decide to add in the sortable side or the scrollable side to that. So I think that's quite nice. I think probably one thing I would quite like, I think, let's just 
go and save this is that you could possibly turn that off and just leave this part of the sortable side down rather than having to do this drop down a minor thing i guess you could very easily hide that anyway with a bit of css if you didn't want to okay so that's the tables done let's go and head over to uh when we're going to the next one custom grid so i really quite like this now if you're you are, if you are a beaver theme user you probably try to style some of your archive pages using the post module which has now been changed so you can go in and add the kind of content that you want using short codes to your archive well this just kind of helps you out a little bit more with this by adding some presets so let's just go into the page builder and i've set some of these up and i've just done some basic styling let me just go into this one here so this is a woocommerce one so this is what you get you get these five extra post styles and three woocommerce styles and you can do some basic styling of the background background hover stuff and border types and stuff like this but the real powers when you go and edit one of these presets where all the short codes have been sort of placed in the right area of course you can swap these around if you know your html and of course you can use the beaver themus to connect in some extra things but all this does is save you a bit of time because it's already placed in some of the things that you might need in WooCommerce, which you would have to do manually if you were using the post module in Beaver Builder. So it just kind of speeds things up and you can, like you can with the standard post um, module, you can now amend your CSS here, which is what I've done. Once this is in here, it's added some CSS and I was able to go and do my own rubbish styling over these for these different elements. And that is pretty much it. Okay, that's me done. I'm caught up. Sorry about not including those in the first one. You're probably getting very sick of listening to me do videos this week. And so I'll see you in probably about a week's time. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.